Throughout history, hemp had a very big role in, in industry, yeah, but towards the um, sort of beginning of the, of the 20th century, it started losing a little bit of market share to cotton because the hemp fiber is it's quite hard to get off the stalk. In 1930, a man called Schlichten invented, invented a new machine to take the fiber off hemp while it was green. The Hearst Corporation built, bought up the rights for this machine. They then squashed the design for this machine and ran a campaign with DuPont who had just invented nylon and a lot of the petrochemical industries as well to ban, get hemp banned because it was now competition. The history is quite involved, but when you look at the facts, it is, there's no ways that this plant is criminalized because it's, as a part of it can be abused. It is because of its threat to major corporations and big business. When America banned hemp and put a lot of pressure on the rest of the Western world to follow suit, there was only one Western country that decided that they would continue growing, and that was France. The rest of the countries that have traditionally grown hemp have been the communist countries. You find a lot in Serbia, Hungary, obviously China being the world leader, they're growing by far the most. At the, since the 1990s, there's been a resurgence in the West, and Canada was the first major country that changed, and now they're growing 50,000 hectares at the moment. The UK has now got licenses, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Australia, New Zealand is looking at changing laws. Hemp is the optimum ratio of omega fatty acids for our body, and the protein in it is globulin Edison. Edison. And globulin Edison is a very absorbable protein. Your body can digest it a lot easier than it can even a soy protein. So specifically for nutrition blocking diseases such as TB, it makes a very good porridge or, or a supplement on a daily basis for people who are sick. Besides that, the oil can also be used to make fuel. Um, it makes a really good biodiesel. Another very important use for hemp is paper. It makes up to four times as much pulp per acre as trees and obviously on a sustainable basis you're getting after four to six months, a yield of, of pulp instead of waiting for six to eight years or even longer for trees. There's now hemp plastic as well, which is, this is amazing, this is coming out of Australia now. People don't realize that up to 50% of our oil goes into making plastics. That even if we stop driving cars today, it wouldn't sort out our fuel problem and our oil problem in the Middle East. So this technology is, is really exciting. Environmentally, hemp is a very positive plant because it, it grows very fast so it absorbs a lot of carbon, which as we all know, this is a big issue with global warming. It also uses, cuts down your use of pesticides and other chemicals in the farming practice so it will stop the pollution of rivers and land and all that. The Canadian company has worked out, they've grew an acre of cotton and an acre of hemp and tested the inputs on, of water and pesticides. And a hemp t-shirt uses 300 liters less water and a cup and a half of pesticides less than cotton. So that is an amazing, they've actually, that, they, that you can actually see the effects immediately on planet saving and, and your know, costs reduction for a farmer to grow hemp versus cotton. I believe the hemp plant has an energy, especially because there are so many people across the planet that are fighting for its liberation. The people who are really putting a lot of energy in educating and showing people the potential for this plant. And it is a plant that has been done an injustice. So wearing it has spirit as well, because you feel in your spirit that you are making a difference, not only in your, uh, showing to yourself or to your friends or educating people as to what you're wearing, but also in the environmental side, in the consciousness that you have saved pesticides, you have saved water as well. Usually you'll find people who are more spiritual will seek out a product such as hemp because they are now thinking and consciousness is basically thinking and becoming aware and very much aware of what you put on your body or what you put in your body and what you do to your immediate surroundings and the planet as a whole.